Today I'm going to show you how to make Ain corn sourdough bagels. We're going to start off by combining one and a half cups of refreshed whole grain Ain corn starter. All of my recipes use whole grain ancient grains, usually Ain corn, which are freshly ground. This is because this is a more traditional way of baking, so I prefer to stick to that. I think it's a lot healthier. Next we're adding three quarters of a cup of filtered water. Then a scant tablespoon of maple syrup. You could also use a honey, just make sure it's not a very solid honey. You'll probably want one a little bit more liquidy so it'll mix in better. Then I'm adding a scant tablespoon of sea salt. I'm making onion flavored bagels, so I'm adding one tablespoon of onion powder. If you're making something like a cinnamon raisin bagel, this is where you would add like maybe a tablespoon of cinnamon and a half a cup of raisins. If you do plan on making blueberry bagels from frozen blueberries, make sure to completely thaw and drain your blueberries first or your dough will be too wet. Plain bagels are also delicious. Next I'm adding four to four and a quarter cups of whole grain in corn flour. I grind fresh acorn berries with a grain grinder and this allows my flour to be fresh and not rancid. It's really changed the way that my whole grain baked goods have tasted. When I used to use just like a whole wheat flour, it really kind of tasted stale and not very good. But whole grain freshly ground flour is a whole different story. With them being freshly ground, they're also higher in nutrients and your starter will be much happier. I knead everything in a bowl for a few minutes until the dough is a bit sticky. You may need to add a bit more water or flour if your dough is too dry or wet, so just adjust as needed. Let your dough ferment covered at room temperature for five hours. After it's rested for five hours, you're going to separate your dough into eight equal pieces. You are going to form these eight pieces into eight individual tight balls. Almost ready to start forming our bagels, but we need to get our dishes ready. I like to use two glass pie pans and I grease mine with clarified butter. I don't cook with things like olive oil or avocado oil. These kinds of oils are high in polyunsaturated fatty acids. I cook with tallow or butter or ghee. Um, I think those are the healthiest things to cook with, also coconut oil. The next step is to take a ball and form it into about a half foot rope. And then you're going to form it into a circle and seal the ends. You'll have to work the dough around to seal those ends so they don't just come apart. So that takes a minute. Once you've formed all your bagels, brush them with some clarified butter so that they don't get dry when they're resting for the next hour. I like to avoid using plastic, especially on my food. This way I don't have to cover them with plastic wrap and I know they'll stay nice and moist. You'll cover those dishes with a plate. 
Let them rise for one hour. When your bagels are almost done rising, fill up a pot with half a gallon of water. Preheat your oven to 500 degrees with a pizza stone or cast iron pizza pan preheating with the oven to 500 degrees. Bring that water to a boil. You can see now our bagels have risen a bit and they are ready to start cooking. Once your water comes to a boil, Reduce the heat just a bit until it's just barely boiling and add one teaspoon of baking soda. Now you're ready to boil your bagels. So add the bagels, about four at a time or whatever fits in your pot, and cook for about 30 seconds on each side. After they've cooked for about 30 seconds on each side and have expanded a bit, remove them and place them on something where they can drain and rest for a couple minutes. Then you can put them in your seasoning once they've cooled off a bit. So you put your seasoning on a plate and then you kind of push them around on the seasoning. Since I'm doing onion bagels, I did dried onions and then also I tried an Italian herb mixture. Once your oven is preheated to 500 degrees, place a piece of parchment paper on your pizza stone. And your bagels are ready to bake. Bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes. And now they're ready to remove and let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before enjoying. I'm enjoying my bagels with some delicious cream cheese. I actually think that if you toast them a little bit, they taste even better. I hope you found this acorn sourdough bagel recipe easy to follow and inspiring so you can make some at home too.